Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, you look like a zebra. <laughs> kind of a multicolored zebra. Well, psychedelic, Bob, this psychedelic. is good information today. All right, we're going to bestow it upon you. Today we're going to talk about sciatic leg pain. Uh, it reveals the pinched nerve and how to release it now. Right, yeah, so we're going to, people always, you know, comment, you know, they have, uh, their MRI shows L3 or L4 pinched nerve, and we're just going to give you some information how you can kind of diagnose that without an MRI. Right. You can tell where the pain is, and by where the pain is, sometimes you can tell where the problem is. Therefore, and then um, we're going to show you how to treat it. Yep. If you are new to our channel, um, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, we've got some big news. Big day. Big day, Brad. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, on Facebook. What day is it? It's 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 for the next two weeks. We're uh, we're having a con we're not a contest. Basically, we're giving away a free mattress. Yeah, and it's a good quality. Yeah, this mattress. is a high end mattress, and boy, you're gonna want to get in on this. And it's so easy to to uh, you know join the just the, go on the, the Facebook. Fun. Just go on the Facebook. It's gonna be our first post, and you just have to like it, and then you have to comment. And be kind, you know, give us some nice yeah, comments. Yeah, the comment could be short. Just say, yeah. we like Bob and Brad. Bob and Brad, right there. That's there where go. it's on Facebook. Like and so this is 2018, if you're watching this video uh, some time from now. So. Yeah, August 16th through the August 30th is uh, when the contest sure. is. Sure. And even if you don't, go to the, you still can go to the page because they're going to have some deals there. Sure. All so. right. So All sciatica. Right. Sciatica re referring to a pinched nerve uh, somewhere in the back. It could be in the piriformis, but it runs down the leg, typically one leg. Uh, we're going to talk about there's instances where it might be both legs. Sure. Uh, but where you feel the pain in your leg, it, you got this, you got my leg in there. Bob mentioned we were talking about maybe I should have had this tattooed on there. Right. If he, if he was really to make the sacrifice for the channel, he should have had this tattooed on there. Yeah, I, I'm going to work on that. Yeah, we're looking at, you know, you're not, how dedicated are you? Yeah, well, anyway, I, I felt pretty dedicated doing this, Bob. Um, one way or another, where you feel the pain. Now, if you feel like pain, numbness, tingling, and it feels like it's radiating across right up, your kind thigh. Kind of more in your thigh, right. right. It's funny, I just got somebody on Facebook that asked me about this. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not uncommon to have that kind of a sensation or pain in that location. That would refer to a L3 nerve root. Right. Okay, this is all mapped out. And here, if we're going to look at L3, actually, on this particular model, can you zoom in on Sam? Sam's so we got back. the lumbar vertebrae, the, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the five bones that stack up to make your back. Yep. The lower three, we got one, two, three, that's L3. Right below it is the nerve root for L3. Right. And that's, that means you know something's happening there. It could be that there is a bulging disc interfering with or that Or herniated nerve. disc. Can you look? There is one there. Sure. Get oh that. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Um, but there's some other, there's something else. We're going to go through the other uh, nerve roots first. Yeah. Yep. So that would be relate to this area of the leg. Right. Now, if you've got pain that kind of comes on the side and goes across the knee, down onto the inside part of the leg into the medial or the in, inside yeah, ankle bone in there. Step. That is four, L4. So that would be the nerve root right below. Now these can vary a little bit from person to person. And, right. and, uh, and I don't know, even from leg to leg maybe. But um, you, you, know, you might even have just parts of it. Right. You might have pain just right here, right? Or you might just have pain right here. Either right. way, you're. Uh, it seems like you're on that nerve root. Right. Yep. I mean, I've had people have no pain here, but then down here, they right. have pain or numbness or tingling. Yep. So it doesn't mean it follows the complete nerve path. Right. But uh, you know, this is why it's a practice for for us and that. Uh, but know. it's giving you a generalization of you know you can kind of start guessing. Oh, that right. might be between L4 and L5. So. And the last one, Brad, is the red one down here, L5, and that's on the outside of the calf, and it kind of goes across, and it eventually goes up to the great toe, or the great big toe. toe. That's the one I had, Brad. That's right. the one that gave me trouble. And, and this is the one I have problems with. I still do it today, um, but there's two big reasons, not the only reason, but two common reasons you can get sciatica that we're going to talk about is one a disc problem a herniated disc like we talked about herniated before herniated or bulging disc or you could have stenosis right which means that uh, instead of a disc 
interfering with the nerve. There's actually the, the foramen where the nerve comes out. There's the little a little hole, hole that the, the nerve comes out Ex has gotten shrunk up for some reason. Right. It, it could be from the disc shrinking right. over time and age, which is could my be. case. Could um, be arthritis. Could be arthritis. There could be some uh, uh, n uh, bone spurs in sure. there. Yep. There's a number of different things. But either way, uh, it could be stenosis. Now, uh, we're going to generalize here the big picture. If it's a bulging disc, Oftentimes it gets worse with prolonged sitting. You'll yeah. get that leg pain. Anytime you're putting that back in that rounded out posture right. or, or bending forward. Right, and bending forward, slouching, poor posture with standing or sitting with poor posture. Yeah, it's worse. Right, so yeah. we're going to show you a couple uh, options to help treat that. Um, should we get Sam sure. out of the way? So, so the problem is this makes it worse. So we're going to take it in the opposite direction. We're going to go into extension. So, and we've done extensive videos on this, um, and we're only going to touch on it today. Right. Correct, Brad. We're just going to go, go on again. You know, if you have that L3, L4, L5, you can try some of this. You can get up on your elbows first. We're starting to bend the back in the opposite yep. direction, and now you can go ahead and eventually work up to doing some press ups. So, right. So I got my hands below my shoulders, and I'm pressing up. And what we're looking for is that the symptoms, first off, don't get worse. Right. Uh, and secondly, maybe even start to feel a little bit better. You might have a little bit less tingling or numbness or pain down in the lower extension, uh, lower part of your, your leg. Right. And I mean, the ideal situation is that it starts taking it out of the leg completely. Right. And, and maybe even you feel a little bit more in the back. Yeah. But it's, it's going out of the leg. The worse it... You know, the farther go, it's going down the leg, the worse it's getting. Right. And we have a number, if you go to our playlist, we have a lot of sciatic uh, videos that go through this in much more detail. If you go to our uh, favorite products, we have a book section, the McKinsey books. They're only about $10. They go through this in detail. Right. And that's excellent uh, reference for that as well. The, the, the point we're trying to make today is that, you know, if it's a bulging disc or a herniated disc, you're going to probably try some type of, like, extension. And if it's not, if it's more stenosis, then you're going to do the flexion, right, Brad? Right. You want to demonstrate that? Well, first off, why don't we talk just real briefly what, a lot of times, what makes that worse if, it, if it's stenosis? Right. The, the big thing with that is typically standing in right. a long-term period. I have stenosis in my back, and if I stand in one spot for more than 15 to 20 minutes, I'll start to feel the leg pain, the L5 start to go numb. Or sometimes walking will also create it. Right. Um, mine's not that bad, but uh, it's very common. Very common to have shopping cart syndrome, where it feels better to lean forward a little bit on a shopping cart and walk. Right. Because it, it, it's opening up that foramen or that little hole and giving it a little more room. Sure. So in that case, well, you probably should do this, Brad. Yeah. You're the you're the you're yeah. the flexion guy. So, see if my tape holds on for our dermatomes. Uh, so the first thing you can do is just take one knee to your chest like this. And you can do that, you know, up to 10 times. And depending on your situation, you could go right to two knees to your chest. It's a little more aggressive, but if you do this and it feels good, then it's a thing to do. Now, these should immediately make your leg start feeling better, okay? If for some reason they don't... It, it could be something else. It could be a pure form of syndrome, possibly, sure. which we didn't cover. Um, but if it, um, do you mind? Maybe I, you know, actually, what you might even start seeing is that instead of it going all the way to the foot, maybe now it just goes to the ankle. Right. That and would then, be a positive it, sign. Yeah, Keep and doing that. It keeps moving up to the point where it's gone down here, but you still feel it here. It could be the same with this one and the same with this one. You, you know, in, in any case, you want to try to get that to not go as far distally as we say. Right. So. Now, if you start doing this particular one and you think it's stenosis, but it really is a disc, well, this will probably start making it worse. It'll make it worse. You'll start getting more pain in the foot. Right. More, and you're like, oh, gosh, that's yeah. not the thing to do. So you want to do things, no matter which, which it is, that make the leg feel better. Right. We go by symptoms. Yeah. Brad's going to show a little trick here he does with the roll. This works really well for people that have stenosis. And you, you put a, a six inch roll that's a firmer one, like I have here from OPTP. We've got this in our favorite products list below as well if you want to find it Look easily. Look at that, your L5 is already getting better. The, yeah, it's, it's going right off. 
but you have to put it below the belt line. It's actually at the sacrum, uh, at the lower part of the, uh, the sacrum. And, you know, for me right now, this feels fantastic. It's just, I can just tell it's opening things up. I could lay here for probably five minutes and feel. And you don't look goofy at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Well, there we go. Yeah, L5 there is, L5 is gone. I'm feeling better. Yeah. L4 <laughs> oh, is going. Look, look at that. No, yeah. but you know, you may feel that kind of a relief. Sure, yeah, yeah. it is true. Sometimes it's like a switch. It yeah. just clicks it right off. It'll go within, you know, less than a minute easily. And then you can do these like every hour right. to the point where it starts to improve. I so. look a little goofy like this, huh? Oh, no, no, Brad. Liz, what do you think? <laughs> no, uh. no. Uh, so um, do you want to talk about sitting real quickly, Brad? Yeah, we should so. talk about lumbar supports. If, if it is from a disc, then you're going to use right. a lumbar support with sitting, whether it's in your car, uh, maybe in your couch or your soft furniture that you use. You, you can you, use a, a you towel start with roll. A roll towel to start off with. Yeah, just take a simple towel roll, roll it up, tape it up like this, and it should feel, you're going to put it around your belt line, it should feel real comfortable, like real good support right away. Um, and, and then, then if you find that works. Yeah, then you might want to invest into uh, a nice cushion towel roll. These are the McKinsey rolls. We like them uh, just because they're good quality. We know they're good. But the size of it, if you look, we've got one, two, three, four different size yeah. uh, rolls here. Some different shapes, different sizes. And if you have a big towel roll, this would be small. So if you, this, oh, yeah. you'd probably use that size. Right. Um, and, you know, these are listed. They tell you the, the size of them. Uh, some of them are firmer density. Some are softer density. It's it's a little bit of an uh, experiment you yeah, have to do. Yeah, you do have to take a little bit of time to if get you're the right a, one. If you're a bigger person, generally, you take a, big, a bigger, bigger roll. roll. Yep. Uh, and it seems like if you're uh, if you're in the throes of back pain, a lot of times you need the bigger roll. Sure. And and as the back pain starts to, or the leg pain starts to get better, you can go to a smaller sure. one. Sure. It's just been right. my experience. So. Yep. So. So, very good. I hope that clears up. Uh, so you know, gives you some good information on how to correct it and where the pain is and how it relates. Yeah. To remember, it. go to Facebook, get that mattress. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, boy, that'll be fun. Unless you're watching this in 2020. Okay. <laughs>